What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Today I want to tell you what I would do if I were a brand new agent in today's world with my 17 years of real estate sales experience. So if I were brand new but knew everything that I've learned over the last 17 years, what would I do? I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. And as a brand new agent, you don't have a lot of money, okay? You don't have a lot of money in the beginning, so you have to kind of do things that are very cost efficient, okay? Very effective, okay? So I'm keeping all this in mind. So the very first thing that I would do, and this is something I didn't do when I was a brand new agent, okay? But the first thing I would do is call my sphere, which is only gonna take about a day Okay, you should take about a day to, to list your sphere and call them all. Okay, so this is not a week. This is not, you know, three or four days. This is not a month. This is one day that we're going to call our sphere and then we're on to the next. But the reason that I didn't call my sphere when I was a brand new agent is because I was scared of selling, of sounding salesy to my sphere. I didn't want them to feel like I was trying to high pressure them. I didn't understand this whole low pressure thing. Um, I was just scared to sound, you know, salesy and sleazy, I guess, you know, or I just didn't want them to feel like I was trying to get them. And so I decided I didn't really want to calm my sphere. And I also knew that if I was going to succeed in real estate, then I had to sell people who I never knew. Okay, so and my, my thoughts were, I'm just going to go ahead and move over to the people I don't know, because if I can't succeed there, I'm not going to succeed anyway. So that's why I went that direction. I went straight into circle prospecting. When I was brand new, I immediately circle prospected. I didn't call Sphere. I didn't do anything else. I sent letters out. I called the owners and I just continued circle prospecting. That's all that I did. Now, as I'm calling my sphere in today's world as a brand new agent after everything that I've learned, now I know how to approach people in a very low pressure way. I know how to approach people and let them know I'm just here to help them. And if they don't have an agent, I will have the opportunity. Let me get your email. I'll send them the weekly email. Boom. Um, that's how I would approach my sphere. I would literally call them up and ask them how they're doing, see how they are and all this stuff, let them know I'm in real estate, and see if there's anything I can do to help them. I have a complete video on my sphere script, my sphere of influence script. I'll link that below. Um, so it goes more into depth about my philosophy and how I'm going to handle my sphere so that you know, when you call your uncle, you know, and you, there, there's no weird feelings or awkwardness. You know, when you see him at Thanksgiving, you know, he's not trying to hide behind Aunt Susie because he thinks you're going to try to sell him something. The second thing I would do is hit the like button and comment below hashtag 321 Club if you're going to face your fears today and for a chance to win a coaching call with me. But after the day of you calling your sphere of influence, we're going to move over to for sale by owners. That's the very next step, I believe, for new agents. And we're going to use my, we're just trying to help you approach. We're not trying to list it. We just want to find out why you're selling. We want to know all about the house and we want to help you. We're not trying to list it. We're not trying to do anything for us. We're just trying to help you, Mr. For sale by owner. You know, why are you selling it? You know, tell me the storyline. Tell me about the house. I think that. You know, a lot of you have heard me talk about the help for sale by owners for free strategy. And I think one of the big confusions is that you're going straight into the conversation saying, you know, I'm here to help you for free. When really the entire beginning of the conversation should be, hey, you know, is your house still for sale? Tell me about the house. Get them talking about the house. Okay. Once they've kind of told you about the house, now we're going to let them tell us why they're selling. So and tell us what's going on with like, tell me all the details about the house, what you're asking, how many square foot, what's all the upgrades. Tell me about your house, get them talking, then say, well, that sounds like a lovely house. Why are you selling it? Okay. Then they're going to tell you why they're selling it. Oh, you know, this or that. Now we're getting somewhere. Then you say, well, you know what? Look, I, I actually just want to try to help you sell this thing on your own for free, no charge. Let me help you. 
now you're getting into, you know, like when you come out and say it in the beginning, they're like, oh, no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. But when you have this long conversation, now they're emotionally invested and you are too, because now you're hearing why they're selling and you're relating to the bigger reason of why they're selling. And now we're getting somewhere. Now we're creating this relationship. Okay, so I also have a full video on me doing this live, calling for sale by owners live and telling them I wanna help them sell their house for free. Link is below. So I would do the for sale by owner thing for a day. So day one's fear. Day two, for sale by owners. Now, the thing about sphere for sale by owners is, and this is great for new agents, because the sphere, you're getting people on the phone and you're talking a little bit about real estate. And so this is really good experience just talking to people. And the feeling that you get when you're talking to your sphere, how comfortable they are with you and you are with them, is the same way you need to talk to your prospects moving forward. The for sale by owners, the expires, the circle prospectings, the buyer leads, anybody. You need to let them feel that F-E, friend or family effect. You wanna let them feel that you are treating them like family through your tone, through your body language, through the speed of your voice, everything, well, the words that you're saying, that you care, that you're not trying to high pressure them, that you want to help them. But when you're talking to your sphere for sale by owners, you're getting real people on the phone talking about real estate, and this is the quickest way to get the best experience for real estate agents. You're talking to for sale by owner who is a live prospect, who is looking to sell their house, who is not represented by an agent. You're probably gonna meet them face to face because it's very easy to get appointments for sale by owners to see the properties. So you're gonna get so much experience with communication and talking to prospects and seeing properties and hearing stories about why people are selling and where they're moving to and what's going on with their life. And that's all the more intricate details of real estate. That's all the more deeper layer of experience that you need to become a great agent. So I think these first two steps are crucial, sphere, to get the feeling that you need to when you're talking to people and capture those email addresses, get your first clientele rolling with the weekly email, and then for sell by owners, live prospects that are ready to sell. Now, after you call for sell by owners, I think you should move right into expireds and circle prospecting, okay? Red X. You can save $150 with Red X with the link in the description or in my free coaching program at zerodiamond.com, which by the way, if you are new and you're watching this, or if you're not part of my free coaching program, what are you waiting for? It's the first completely free coaching program in the world, close to 20,000 agents right now. We're about to hit 20,000 agents in the program and they're finding so much success. 90 day action plan and the 28 day Ricky Carruth real estate challenge is there for you. All that stuff is ready for you. Phone scripts, live training, online course, full access to me, the whole nine yards. So don't hesitate, go to zerodiamond.com, sign up and get started. But like I was saying, you save $150 on Red X. Red X is a software that will find all the property owners in a subdivision, any subdivision you want, boom, phone numbers. $50 a month, okay? Then you have expires, that's a different cost. Expires, that's another option. Get expires. It, it automatically downloads the expires daily into your folder on Red X. Okay, then I want you to get the dialer with Red X. The dialer is, you have the phone numbers for the subdivision or the expired list, you just hit dial and it just starts dialing the numbers, right? It hooks to your cell phone and you just listen and start talking, all the information is on the screen. It's incredible, it's the greatest thing that ever happened to real estate agents. And also, if you have your own phone list, say you have a list that you got from somewhere, you can download that into the dialer, hit dial and start dialing those numbers. So this is a tool that every real estate agent needs to have. And if you haven't noticed, the first two tasks that I gave you as a new agent was to call Sphere of Influence, to call for sale by owners. It's all revolved around staying on the phone, talking to people. You are a salesperson. I know a lot of you have fear of the cold call. Your fear of calls, your fear of talking to people, talking to people, wondering what they're gonna think, making sure you don't sound dumb. Whatever the case may be, 
You have to run right through those fears. I made a video on how to overcome your fear of getting on the phone. Link is below. So the next thing I would do after calling Sphere, calling for sale by owners, is move right into expireds and circle prospecting. Okay, this is where you're gonna kind of settle in right here. It's expireds and circle prospecting is what I want you to do long term. And I want you to do the three by three. It's three hours of calls, three days a week. This is minimum. Now, if you're a new agent, you don't have anything going on, I want you to do it 24 seven. But minimum, three days a week, three hours a day. So I want you to do this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, nine to 12. Monday, nine to 12. Tuesday, nine to 12. Wednesday, nine to 12. Okay, three hours, three days a week. Just stay on the phone. Don't worry about the results, just make the calls. You might not have a great call session every day, but if you have a couple of good conversations, you pick up a couple of emails, that's a win. Those are people that are gonna do business with you at some point in your career. Okay, every person that you talk to you have a great conversation with is potentially worth 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career. So when you have a call session, you pick up two email addresses, you say, man, I didn't get any deals today. Those two people could possibly be worth 10 to 20 deals to you. So you're looking at 20 to 40 deals that you did that day over the life of your career. This is real estate. Okay, everything must be thought about long term for short term results. Because when you make calls the next day looking for those emails to get those 10 to 20 deals in the future, you're going to run into somebody, you're going to accidentally run into somebody who wants to do a deal today. Something else I would do as a new agent that I've never done, even to this day, is door knock. I definitely would door knock. There's a great door knocking script Ben Steven came up with. He altered my circle prospecting script. There's a video on it. I'll put a link below for that as well. Um, so I'll also put a link below for the circle prospecting webinar that I did about a year ago for those of you who are just getting into circle prospecting and want a little bit more info there. So there you have it. Um, I put a lot of information here, put a lot of links in the description for you guys to go get more information. Um, if there's anything else I can do for you, if you have any questions about being a new agent or anything of the such, please reach out. The 90 day action plan is right there on zerodiamond.com for you guys to take action. There's zero excuses, this is all free. So it's just how I built my business became the number one REMAX agent in the state of Alabama. I've been selling 100 properties a year for the last almost six years. This will be the sixth year in a row. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 2019 will be my sixth year selling 100 properties as a single agent. Okay, so if you're paying for real estate coaching, ask them how many deals they've sold over the last six years and what their pending board looks like, okay? I am out here in the trenches with you going to listing appointments. I show every property. I negotiate every deal. Go to every closing. Go to every inspection, okay, because I love the process and I love the sales part of this business. I don't want a team. I want to continue doing sales, making these videos for you so that you can succeed as well. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Reach out if there's anything in the world I could do for you and let's go. Thank you.